This video is a walkthrough of how to install the G-Control touchscreen computer on your CNC router. IDCWoodcraft.com I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company that provides you with the CNC router bits to carve out your amazing CNC projects. This is a touchscreen computer that you mount right on your CNC router. It's called the G-Control touchscreen, and I am going to walk you through how to install this unit. If you don't know what this is, I've got a video out that explains to you what this thing does and how powerful this little unit is and how convenient it is to have mounted right on your CNC router so you can run the machine right here. That video will be linked down in the description. The rest of this video is how to install this unit right on your machine. So let's go. We're going to start installing the hardware for the G-Control control panel. And I'm going to start by building it up from the machine up to the panel itself. Then I'm going to work on the panel a little bit, explain to you what all we're going to do with that. Now, when you get your kit to mount your, your G-Control, you're going to get some hardware that you may not need because they have set this up in a way that it can mount directly on the alt mill or it can mount directly on the long mill. Now, if you have a different CNC machine that has the GRBL uh, system, then you can use this control panel for that as well, except you may not be able to mount it directly to the machine. This bracket you're gonna get is designed to mount it directly to the machine. You'll get this bracket as well, this clamp, which comes with this standard kit. CNC Labs has added a couple things, like this bracket right here. But if you have this, you can actually clip the thing onto a table and then use it there. So here's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with a base bracket right here on the left front corner of the machine. You see these four holes right here. They are going to mount into the holes that are right on the front of your machine. You see there's, on your alt mill, there's one, two, three, four screw holes. If you have a long mill, there'll be screws in there to hold the bracket to the, to the rails. You'll take those screws out and mount this thing on. But in the case of the alt mill, you don't need to do that. You're gonna have this guy right here, and you're gonna have this baggie of M5 screws. And there's six of them in there with washers. So you're gonna need an M4 Allen wrench. If you have a long mill or an alt mill, you should have this wrench. So we are going to simply mount this puppy up and dump out the screws. I only need four of the six. So now this is designed in such a way that it will straddle the cables just like this. There's the cables and it will sit just like that and the cables go right through this cutout. A note about installing this bracket that I learned after I assembled the entire G-Control onto my CNC is wire management. So we have the two wires that actually come from the G-Control, the power wire here and then your control wire that actually plugs into your SLB right here that plugs into the computer. You notice that it is both of these wires are just kind of hanging out here. You want to get the power wire and your control wire and run them in behind this bracket as well before you mount the bracket onto the machine. So you can see the holes that it's going to mount into right there, 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 and one right here. So we're going to take these little M5 screws and we are going to set this thing up just like this. You just wanna make sure the slotted area is facing upward. Don't, don't do it upside down like that. Do it like that. What you wanna do is use the washers that come with it because the holes in this bracket are a little bit large. So you want the washers to make sure that you get good seating all the way around. And now we have the bracket all screwed in, all four screws, the wires are clear. The next thing that we want to do is, with this clamp right here, we want to get a Phillips head screw driver and remove this screw. And we're going to take this handle off and you're going to run it up through the slot right here and into the bottom of this guy right there. You can see it's threaded. Now we just take the threaded handle, put it up through this slot right here 
And now we're just going to spin it onto the, onto the shaft. Just like that, we're gonna run it all the way up until it tightens up. Now that we have this in nice and solid, the first thing I wanna do is move the machine up to this area here all the way forward. And I wanna make sure that the spindle is going to clear this thing. Yeah, the alt mill is brought all the way forward. Right there, the spindle is all the way over that way. And I still have quite a bit of distance here. That's where this bracket comes into play. We need to make sure that I have room for that as well. So this guy is going to slide right on here, just like that. Now it does pivot around like that. So we're going to actually make sure this bracket is facing that way. And we're going to slide that guy down. It's got a little plastic piece in there that's making it kind of hang up. And there we are. Now in your kit, you're going to get this Allen wrench here marked L. So that's the one you want to to tighten that down with. It'll also tighten this screw right here. But right now we're just going to tighten this bracket down right here. Oops. It's got a Phillips head end on it as well, which we will use in a little while. Shouldn't take too much to get that to clamp down. And we can adjust it up and down later on. I just want to make sure I've got all the clearance I need. Now I have to make sure that the panel is going to set on it properly exactly where I want it and that it also is not in the way of the machine travel. So we have to put the bracket on the back of the panel here and then we can slide it right on to this bracket right here that we just installed on the machine. So this is the bracket that you want. The one with the little bend on it and that bend needs to be put on so that it's facing away from the the connections on the control panel. Now the screws that are going to hold that on are not what's in the instructions here where it says to use MA or MB screws which are these guys right here MA, MB, and MC. Instead you're going to have this packet right here that's going to come with it as well and it's going to have this little baggie with these little black screws in it. Those are the screws that you're going to use and we're going to put them on the four outside corner holes that are on the back of the panel. You can see on the back of the panel there are two sets of holes on each one which match up with the holes on this but we're going to do the outside holes on the outside screw holes. Now you see how I have mine done I've actually taken this plate and I pulled it towards the bottom because the weight of the panel is going to be resting on this so it would have a tendency to slide down they're pretty small screws any smaller on the washers and they would actually fit through the holes so that's why I have done it that way made them nice and snug now it's time to mount this guy up on here so here's what we're going to do we're going to rotate this around a little bit. Now this is too tight. I need to swing it around. So we'll grab this Allen wrench right here, the one that comes with the set, and loosen that guy up a little bit. So that I can swing it around. Then we're going to take this screw off right here. Now it's going to come off as a nut, just like that and the screw will come off as well. So I'm going to take the whole thing off. And then we want to just check this guy right here. I'm going to snug it up just a little bit using the Allen wrench that they gave us because I don't want to put the panel on and the whole panel just drops down. So we're just going to snug it up so it's a little bit more tight. There we are. And then we will take the G control and we're going to just drop it right on just like that. So I found that this screw actually needs to be on there because it won't drop down all the way. And it's a little tricky to get the, the uh, screw down in there between the two. And then we can just take the nut and put it back down just like that. And then you have the little wrench J 
that comes with it. And you can take that wrench and tighten everything down. And it has a little Allen wrench with it as well that will allow you to adjust the height of that little screw, which really isn't necessary because we've got this whole bracket we can slide up and down. Now that we've got the panel up here, we can adjust the way we want it oriented, which will be oriented upward so I can see it clearly. But first I want to make sure, again, that the machine is not going to run into it. So we're going to bring the machine forward again. We're going to come all the way forward, make sure it doesn't touch the control panel, and we are good. So I'm going to bring it back like that and more like that. And then we'll orient it, lock it in, just like that. I'm going to have to get into the back of it, turn it around while it's tilted upward. And then we just want to tighten down the orientation that we want it in. The last thing we want to do is connect the antennas for the Wi-Fi. They're going to come in this bag right here. This is them right here. And they will screw right on to these two guys right here. Now, I don't have Wi-Fi in my shop yet, so it's not going to do me much good putting these on, but I'm going to put them on for good measure. And finally, before we get things wired up with the power line, we're going to take the wire management uh, brackets here, and we are going to simply slide them on. They should just spread out and clip right on just like that. And then you have the other one that goes up on this bracket right there. And that should stretch over just like that. Now we're going to take the power cord and we're going to plug it in right here. Now the cord that plugs in to your CNC router, your alt mill, which in the alt mill case is this guy right here. We are going to plug that into one of the USB ports right in here. But this guy has got, what, one, two, three, four USB ports, an HDMI port, a VGA port, Ethernet port, and I guess that might be a reset button. And then we also have the power on off switch right here. So let's get the power cord hooked up, fire this up, and see how we can make this machine move. This should have G Sender loaded into it already. In order to turn this on, you need to hit that little power switch there and then push that little white button there. And the control panel will start to boot up. AMI, power management, manage, secure. Let's let this thing boot up. Well, we got it all fired up, and all I have to do is literally touch the screen to make my machine move around, which is so, so, so cool. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to send the machine to the home position. Woo! I like this. If you decide to get this puppy, which I recommend that you do, then I'll link that down below. idcwoodcraft.com